Okay guys, quick update here. So, got the uh, wiring all done here, and the, that's a map sensor. So I gotta mount that, but, so I'm done with the fuel and the wiring, the lower wiring. So, like I said, I try to keep it all between the fuel rails and the top plenum here, or at least between this divider. So the fuel comes in this way, hits the rail, pressure rises the rail, comes back, goes back into the re regulator return. So I already have this set for 43 PSI, so hopefully it stays the same. Um, I mean the rails and injectors changed a little bit, so I might have to do an update on that, but uh, I had to get an oil pressure, uh, I'm going to make an extender, because that's not, uh, I actually bought like the special connector for this thing, the uh, male version of this, or the opposite version of this, and uh, I'm going to extend it down to the oil, I have an oil pressure sensor, see right there, a little probe in there, so I have a mechanical gauge and I also have the one that goes to the uh, computer. So, because I probably want to create a rule that says if I mean, have zero oil pressure at a certain RPM range, then do something, shut the engine off, or let me let me be aware of it. Yeah, I and mean, give me a misfire of some sort, you know, retard the timing or cut off fuel or whatever. Um, okay, so yeah, next step is to get the plenum on there and start getting the uh, throttle cable. Still got to work on the air intake system too over here, but I'm just gonna keep on plugging away at it. So hopefully I'll be done by this weekend. I mean. Been working an hour in here and there throughout the week. So I started to get to the uh, kick down or TV cable for the AOD. But I made a custom bracket for that, but I'll show you that. So, yeah, so I'm gonna have to probably make a custom bracket or custom uh, cable for the uh, throttle. It's gonna come out right here. It's probably gonna end up being like right here. So, all right, I'll show you that in an upcoming video. All right, thanks. All right, guys. Hope you guys can see this, but. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of chugging away at this thing. Um, I actually made this custom bracket for the AOD thing here. Let me show you this. Yeah, I don't know, my phone's acting kind of crazy right now, so you've seen that. That's my throttle valve cable. And you can see down there, maybe. If you're looking close, you can probably see it down there, or if you can see that. No idea. It's moving. So that's throttle valve. Now I gotta work on the throttle cable. I had to remove the uh, idle air control valve for the reach back there. Alright, cool, cool. Alright, guys, this has been kind of slow going just because it's everything from here on out is pretty much custom stuff I have to do now. So that's a little throttle cable bracket and it goes right into my firewall right there. So that's going to go right here, and that's going to hopefully be a nice straight shot with like minimal amount of like, you know, like minimal amount of uh, friction in there, internal cable friction, because it's almost straight. So, I also wanted to make sure uh, I could get it off in case I had to take my valve cover off. It wasn't going to be like, you know, I would have to take the whole thing off. So, yeah, I'm going to start putting this back on, and here's a little part. I need to order one of these, you know? Um, because this, this actually has a ball joint on the end of it, and I um, uh, need to wear that when I'm getting tired. I work on this all day long, so. Alright, so get my cables on. A few other things I have to do here. Um, just the stuff I'm going to do for the rest of the day, and I'll, I'm going to order that cable back it, and then I'll have to program the software. But I'll show you that when I get to it. Also, I gotta put my pipe on here. I have a pipe. Um, so I'm not gonna get it done today. I'm kind of bummed about that, but pretty close. I'm just waiting for that throttle adapter. So, um, yeah, I, I don't, I'm not, I mean, I need to like start, I mean, I need to overlook this whole thing when I have a fresh head because there's so many things that can go wrong with this thing that if I do what I'm tired, I might forget something. So, yeah, my, my final like uh, inspection to make sure everything's correct, make sure I don't have any fuel leaks. So, yeah, I'm going to take that old uh, hose over there, if you can see that on the ground. That's the uh, air intake hose. I'm going to use my original box here that came off that Chrysler. And I got like a three and a half, three inch to two and a half inch adapter. And it's going to go in here. 
um, I measured this, you know, 65 millimeter is about two and a half inches, so, and that pipe is two and a half inches, so, um, I mean, I'd like to get three inch eventually, maybe, if I can find it. I mean, I actually had bought a cold air intake, you know, a 45 degree angle one, and it didn't fit, so, didn't gonna clear this. I need sort of like a, a flexible tubing here. They do actually throw, sell a shitty, like, three inch Spectre one. It looks like a vacuum, it looks like a AC duct. It's like really shitty, cheap looking, so, I want something a little bit nicer looking, so. Oh yeah, I need to move, do my oil pressure extension. I do have the uh, the thing for that, the uh, can, the uh, connector. And I did actually have to put my original throttle uh, pedal back on. And I moved it over about an inch or so and a half so I could clear this. So, looking good so far. I'm pretty happy with it so far, you know. Um, that was like my custom, custom bracket there. I had to put my uh, idle air control back on. All right, so I'm just gonna do a few things and uh, get going. Oh, actually, another. <laughs> keep on forgetting to say things, but um, one of the nice things about having this um, throttle cable on here, um, like that, is that it actually gives a lot of extra spring tension having that throttle cable on there, having to move the throttle down there. So I'll know if all of a sudden my throttle cable gets very loose, like on the pedal. If it gets really loose at the pedal, then I'll know this throttle cable have come off. The TV cable came off, and I better freaking pull over and take a look at it. So if I'm off-roading, and all of a sudden my pedal gets very light and easy to pull, push down, then I'll know this thing came off. And then that's doomsday right there. So, all right, cool, cool. So I'll be back uh, probably tomorrow or the next day. Get that part.